Welcome to See the Invisible Stuff. That's the name of the channel spelled just like that. If you like a video, like a video and subscribe. Okay, I want to talk about the times in life where something might happen to you and you legitimately not at fault for it. It could have been something that happened to you when you was a kid. Uh, you could have got victimized as a kid. You could have got victimized as an adult. Uh, you can end up knee deep in something where you only had nothing but the best intentions in mind. Somebody uh, pulled one over on you. Somebody gave you some bad advice and now you got you in the situation. Those times in life when something is straight up not your fault and you had 100% good intentions in mind. When these type of things happen to people in life, sometimes it can cause people to sit in justification. Feeling justified because they know that something wasn't their fault. And sometimes people can get stuck on something not being their fault so much that it can cause them to start handling situations regarding that matter uh, in general sometimes, depending on how strong that justification is. It can cause people to start handling the situation any kind of way because they sit on that justification so much. It can cause them to start thinking with their pain. When a topic is brought up regarding that matter, a, a specific matter, where they knew that they was right, and you could just you could be 100% right with no doubt about it. Sometimes, if it causes some type of hard, some, some real hardship in your life, it can cause you, you know, to be sensitive in a certain area, and it can, it, it can cause you to you know, feel some pain when that topic is brought about, or if you're around it again, I have to experience it again. And before you know it, boom, you're thinking with your pain, you're thinking with your justification, and now the situation is being handled any kind of way. That is, it, you know, it's, you still, and this is not telling somebody to just get over it, suck it up, but the fact of the matter is, if you don't find a way to heal from it, if you don't find a way to heal the situation, mend the situation, you're not going to ever heal the situation. The situation, you're not going to ever mend the situation. It's still got to happen. Right, because a lot of times, what what people have to still keep in mind is the greater good. And when people thinking with their pain or feel overly justified, they can it can skip clean over the greater good. You can't never. Sometimes it can be hard hard for people to see still what is the greater good. What is the right thing to be done? What is the right thing to be said? What is the right way for this situation to be handled? Despite knowing that I'm right, because it's not a question of whether you're right or wrong. You can be one hundred percent right. All right, but. Still, how is this situation supposed to be handled? Is my pain still going to think for me? As soon as I hear this, as soon as I hear that, boom, first thing rise up in me is, is I know how I feel, I know I'm right, and then blah, 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 this and that doesn't. So that's not going to help the situation. What it, can, what it can do, it can cause you to start unintentionally victimizing somebody else. The same thing that could have happened to you if you was victimized. Handling it any kind of way, not dealing with it the proper way can cause you to lash out, start handling things a certain way. Now you create new victims. Now it's another cycle of somebody getting victimized and possibly sitting in their justification. Now they can have a story about how they was victimized by you. And now they can sit in their justification, lash out, handle it any way they want, only think with that pain, and boom, now they victimized to somebody else. And you can create a, a cycle of, of somebody feeling, feeling justified, sitting in that justification, and only thinking about their pain. And another thing, sometimes the hardest person sometimes to talk to is somebody who was is, who is a victim or somebody who legitimately have a point about what they're saying. Because sometimes they can feel as though if you don't agree with everything that they're saying, that you're disagreeing with them. Or if you don't do everything they do, then you can't understand, you know, you're being insens insensitive when it's not that. You still have to be, um, you still have to think about the greater good, like I said before, still. You got to still try your best to still handle things and say things and do things the way that they're supposed to be done. We all know what, what you still got to do, handle people the way you would want to be handled. You still got to do things to people that you still would want done to you. Because another thing about this is that they got a difference between accountability and revenge. Right? You're not saying that just because you don't want to go backstab somebody or get back at somebody or do something that, see, that's what I'm talking about when you still got to handle things the right way. If, if, you, if this caused you to want to do something that you know you wouldn't want done to you, you may be operating out of revenge. But since you know you may have been done wrong and you are right about, you, about what you're saying, 
that's what's dictating how you want to handle the situation. See, there's such a thing as accountability. But when you're thinking what your pain is sitting in your justification so much, it can cause that line between revenge and accountability to get blurred. I'm not saying that you have to just let somebody off the hook. It's okay to hold somebody accountable. But when you get spiteful and vengeful, see, that's a totally different situation. And sometimes those lines can get blurry to get the heart for somebody who's thinking with their pain to identify what's going on. And I say this to say, ultimately, like I said earlier, man, woman, child, whomever you may be, the only way you can heal is if you heal. That's it. Other than that, you run the risk of it festering or growing even more in yourself and spreading to others. And it won't benefit you or nobody else or nothing else at all. This is not a video to try to tell somebody to suck it up and get over it like I see it. If this is a video that you feel like it helps somebody else, you feel like it needs to be spread, need to be heard, feel free to share, feel free to recommend it, feel free to post it.